Let's do a quick number theory problem. Let n be a natural number such that n over 5 is a perfect square and n over 2 is a perfect cube. Find the smallest value of n so that n over 3 cubed is a natural number. So we know that n has a unique prime factorization, like any good natural number, and we know that it must have a factor of 5, a factor of 2, and a factor of 3, since all of these divisions must result in positive integers, perfect squares, cubes, and natural numbers. This means that we can write n like this. It can be factored into 5 to something, times 2 to something, times 3 to something. Certainly, we're not going to include any other factors, because these are the only ones it has to have, and we're trying to find an n as small as possible that fits this criteria. Now let's consider the conditions the problem gives us and see what restrictions that forces on our exponents. Remember, we're going to want these exponents to be as small as possible while still fitting the criteria. First, we know that n over 5 is a perfect square. n over 5 is equal to 5 to the x minus 1, x minus 1 because we're dividing a 5, times 2 to the y times 3 to the z. Now this must be a perfect square, which means all of its powers must be even. So x minus 1 must be even, which means x has to be odd. y must be even, and z must be even. Now similarly, let's consider the second condition. n over 2 has to be a perfect cube. Just like being a perfect square means that the powers must all be even, being a perfect cube means that the powers of the factors must be multiples of 3. So we're thinking about n over 2, which is equal to 5 to the x times 2 to the y minus 1, y minus 1 because we've divided a 2, times 3 to the z. Again, this is a perfect cube, so all of these exponents must be multiples of 3. That means x, this power, is congruent to 0 mod 3. It's a multiple of 3. y minus 1, on the other hand, must be congruent to 1 mod 3. This means it's 1 greater than a multiple of 3. That way, y minus 1 would be a multiple of 3. And then this power, z, must be congruent to 0 mod 3. It's got to be a multiple of 3. And in case this logic is unclear, for this to be a perfect cube, it must be the case that we can write it as 5 to the something times 2 to the something times 3 to the something, all cubed. That's what it would mean for it to be a perfect cube. And we're using a similar logic for the square, right? We would have 5 to some power times 2 to some power times... 3 to some power. This would have to be squared. These should be ways of writing the expressions, and that's how we get restrictions on our exponents. Now, what's the smallest x, y, and z can be while fitting these restrictions? Well, if x has to be odd and a multiple of 3, the smallest that x could be would be 3. If y has to be even and 1 greater than a multiple of 3, then the smallest y could be is 4. If z has to be even and a multiple of 3, the smallest z could be would be 6. 0 is also an even multiple of 3, but we definitely can't have 0 because n needs to have some factors of 3 in it because n over 3 cubed is a natural number. So 0 would not work. So here's our answer, and all that's left is to talk about how to compute it without expending too much effort. 5 to the 3 times 2 to the 4 times 3 to the 6. These are the smallest the powers can be while fitting all the criteria of the problem. Notice we can pair up 3 factors of 5 with factors of 2 to get 10 to the 3, but that leaves one factor of 2 behind. 3 to the 6 is the same as 3 squared cubed, and 3 squared is 9, so that's 9 cubed. Then 10 cubed is 1,000 times 2, and 9 cubed is 9 times 9, which is 81 times 9. 81 times 9 is 729. Finally, just double 729, that's pretty easy, that's just 1,458, and then multiply that by 1,000, which just amounts to appending three zeros to the end. Final answer, then, is 1,458,000. That's the smallest positive integer 
N that's going to satisfy all of these criteria. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or your own solution for this problem. And if you're looking for more interesting math problems, check out my playlist in the description. If you want to help support Wrath of Math, please consider joining the channel for early and exclusive access to certain videos and lots of other perks, including access to lots of original songs that I use in the videos. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus, I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest, happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant, call me the Morgan, I get the compliments, the union in together like any time that we intersect, cause my opponent...